Hi everyone, and welcome to Jane Talks Real. It's Slayer Sunday, where I'll be talking about and reviewing all the episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer in order. Today I'm looking at Season 3, Episode 15, Consequences. We begin the episode with Alan grabbing bath time Buffy, which does not look fun to film, and when Buffy surfaces, Faith gives her the Paige McCullen treatment, and she wakes up. Nice sheep PJs. The exposition news is on that reveals Faith did a shitty job dumping the body, and the mayor is pissed. Hey, don't roll your eyes! And into the credits we go. Wesley wants the Slayers to investigate Alan's death, which makes no sense, and Giles agrees, but he makes them do it anyway, before Cordelia walks in, and Wesley forgets how to use the English language. Uh, I, uh... Well... Giles bursts his bubble when he reveals Cordelia is a student, but easy mistake to make, bro, as Charisma Carpenter was 28 at the time of filming. Buffy and Faith get into an argument over whether or not they should go to the cops, and she goes to Willow, who takes off. Angel noses at the police investigation, and then remembers seeing blood on Buffy's hands, before we head to Mayor Dick's office, where he's annoyed that Alan left an incriminating paper trail. Trick chucks him the coroner's report, where it's revealed that there were wood splinters found in Alan's heart wound. This is exciting. A slayer up for murder one. A little later, Buffy and Faith break into Alan's office, which Faith thinks is a waste of time, but Buffy finds some files missing, and thinks Alan was in the alley looking for them. They find out Trick is working for the mayor, Buffy calls Faith two-faced, she's got a point, and they get into a big argument where Faith says one dead dude doesn't matter compared to all the lives they've saved. She's got a point, but she also says that they're better than everyone else because they're slayers. Buffy gets home to find the police at her house, a recurring detective character who interviewed her after Ted's death. And with that, this, and Kendra, Buffy has now been suspected of murder three times. Way to go! He asks her and Faith a bunch of questions, but they both corroborate each other's stories, and Buffy goes to Willow and explains the situation. Buffy goes to see Giles, but Faith beat her to it, lying to Giles that Buffy killed Alan, and he yells Buffy into his office. After Faith leaves, Giles tells a tearful Buffy that he knows Faith is the guilty party. She may have many talents, Buffy, but fortunately lying is not one of them. He says things like this have happened with past Slayers, as accidents do happen, but with Faith in denial, there's no way to currently help her, and uh-oh, Wesley is eavesdropping. That can't be good, because he rings the head of the Watchers' Council. Xander offers to go to talk to Faith, and the group realise why, but Giles thinks it's a bad idea, and poor Willow goes to cry in the bathroom. Xander goes to Faith's anyway, and she reluctantly invites him in. He offers to testify to her character in court, but she laughs at him, straddles him, and then starts to strangle him. Luckily, Angel bops her on the noggin and chains her up in the mansion. He and Buffy yada yada back and forth for a bit, with Angel saying Faith's got a taste for killing now, and the mayor, after discovering that he had two slayers snooping around, orders Mr. Trick to deal with it. Angel psychoanalyzes Faith, and he starts to get through to her, but then Wesley and his cronies burst in, kick the crap out of Angel, and arrest Faith. She doesn't appreciate her new mode of transportation and holds some dude hostage, so Wesley has to let her go. Angel tells the others what's up, and Buffy wants to rescue Faith, but Willow is all like, nah, fuck her, and Wesley comes in with his tail between his legs, so they all split up to look for her. Buffy finds her at the docks, and they get into a big argument again, which ends with Buffy pushing Faith to safety. Trick and his goons attack Faith, but she dusts one of them. Wait! Too. And even though she considers leaving, she saves Buffy by staking Mr. Trick. With there now being a job opening with Mayor Dick, Faith officially switches sides. Okay, so it's no secret that I don't like Faith, which makes this episode hard to watch. I don't have a whole lot to say about it if I'm honest. Like Surprise and Innocence of Season 2, this unofficial two-parter serves as the turning point where a character joins the opposing team. Killing Alan was supposed to be the end of Faith, as the original plan was to have her so consumed by guilt that she killed herself. And while I'm not a fan of that seriously dark idea, I don't really like Faith switching sides either. I know it was built up to be that way across the season, but the mayor is such a strong presence, I don't think he really needs help. I would have been okay with Trick sticking as henchman, and having Faith shipped off to England to be able to be brought back in a later season as an antagonist instead. Maybe in season 4, because as far as big bads go, Adam is probably the weakest. Disappointingly, there was no Oz in this episode, because Seth Green was off filming Austin Powers, which is why he returns in the next episode with black hair. The highlight of the episode for me was Giles yelling at Buffy in front of Faith, only to reveal he knew the truth, because even though he's not her watcher anymore, their bond is undeniable. 
We snuck in three vampire deaths in the final moments of this episode, all killed by Faith. This guy, this guy, and Mr. Trick. That brings our running total to 35 humans, 4 transformations, 42 vampires, 16 demons, and 4 zombies. So there you have it. That was Consequences. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below or come say hi on social media. If you enjoyed this video then please hit that like button, it really does mean a lot. Or consider subscribing if you want more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching, I'll speak to you soon, and don't let the vampires bite.